there are two types of distro hoppers. There is the distro hopper, which I call the cook, which goes and searches for all these distributions. He checks them. He looks whatever is good for his use and take it and use it in his own distribution, which means he can use it to build his own small kiosk or the small restaurant, etc. And there is also the distro hopper, the customer or the enjoyer or the eater, which goes all over the place and looks each now and then at any distribution, spends two, three days, etc. and goes all over them each time. Both of them have an enjoyment factor, but the one that is enriching and will last longer is the one for the cook and this is we will discuss today a uh, one example of how we can utilize the distro hopper the cook in linux we will test open box in uh, in ubuntu distribution a lightweight ubuntu distribution body linux and we'll see how it will perform under open box so what we will do first is we'll go to the terminal we need to update and it is finished and next we will uh, do the following i will install open box open box configuration tin to the panel because open box doesn't have a panel lx appearance for the theming firefox body linux comes with chromium obsession for the login log out menu w bar w bar dash config it is also a bar which uh, has uh, shortcut uh, shortcut menus rofi for the searching for applications Suckless tools is also the d menu which is also related to rofi and p7 zip we will use it to extract extract some information from the internet dealing with open box settings so we'll install them 252 so yes and that's it open box is installed so let us log in in open box let's log out from here we go we log out and we have now open box put our password and now we are in open box as you can see only w bar is present tin2 doesn't did not uh, start with uh, open box and the right click we have this small menu so first first thing we will do is we will fix the menu i will put up i will press op conf go to the appearance and change all the fonts bigger so that you can see them so i fixed all the all the fonts so now if i right click so this is the menu that it came by default it is a minimal one but it has some kind of a menu maker because we have now a more organized menu here in the applications so what we will do first is i want to go to thunar file manager we go to etc xdj open box okay and i will open also another window this is the default one in our user which is only rc.xml and here we have all of these files so we'll take from etc xdg open box we'll take the auto start put it here we'll take the menu and we'll take also the rc but i think it is the same let us check no it's not the same replace so we replace them and afterwards we have to press properties permissions read and write read and write i close and the menu i'll put also read and write read and write the rc also read and write read and write so now we can play with these because we cannot use these and the, because they are in the etc so we can use all of these so here in the auto start what i will do is i will put tin2 and i will also add nitrogen we will talk about it later dash dash restore 
and I will save it and it's finished and let us restart restart I will exit and press again so now we have our tint to and the W bar let us go to Tunar again I already downloaded these files menu.xml rc.xml sparky5.obt and the papyrus antix first thing we will do is I want to use this sparky5.obt it is also available in my telegram channel you can take it from there but if you want we have to go to opconf first install a new theme sparky5 it is in the downloads I'll say ok so sparky5 was installed we press close so now I have this beautiful theme for the menu so sparky5 which I took from Sparky Linux. For Papyrus Antics, what we have to do is we have to extract it. This one, I took this theme, I took this theme from Antics. Let me first decompress it. I will go to the terminal, CD downloads. Okay, afterwards, I need to copy this folder, dash R. We have to use sudo because we are copying into another sudo cb and it is copied let us open another window these are the default ones and these are the ones that we want to change first of all i will put my customized rc.xml here so do you want to replace the existing file 25k with my own which is 35 i say ok replace so i have my own rc.xml for the menu.xml also, let me open this one, open with leaf pad. This is the default one. And the menu.xml that I downloaded is this one. So we have this root menu, we have this root menu. If we want, I will remove all this root menu. I delete it. And I will put my own root menu and also if you notice I have create I have a customized menu I called my menu I will also put it here and I will show you later how we can access this my menu if you notice also here in the I have an icon which uses the papyrus antics that I have downloaded. Let me save my menu.xml. After saving, I will reconfigure. What I will see now is my own menu here with the icons. The last thing that I will talk about is the rc.xml. So this is rc.xml. We have changed the menu. Now we can change our key bindings. And key bindings are very important if you are using the thing many times. Let us start from WD here. So here we have WD. If you press Win D, it will toggle show the desktop. So if I press Win D, Win D, Win D, Win D, it will toggle this one. You can change it as you want. I always use the same key bindings that I used before with Windows. So I don't have to remember many things. And Windy in Windows does the same thing. I also use here Control Escape for the close. So if you press Control Escape, if you open any window, let's say I open this one, I press Control Escape, it will close directly. It is better than going up and clicking the X button in order to close it. You have to, it is a very good experience to include these in your key bindings. I use control escape, you can use whatever you want. There's also alt escape, also for the focus. Alt space, it goes to the row feed dash show run. If you don't like alt space, let's say I want to use win space. Let me save it. And after save it, I will reconfigure. So now if I press win space, win space, I will get also 
this uh, this one for if you want to search for any program that you want let's say I want to search for Firefox so Firefox is here I press it I will also directly use it instead of going through the menu and checking some items win e is for thunar so if you press win e it will open thunar win e it will open thunar win z win s win m you can put whatever shortcuts that you want all you have to do is you change the shortcut here you press you alt which is a and shift is s and t is the letter t so now you have changed it to whatever you want if you want to change the command you have to go each one each key bind each key bind it has a command and you can change it here the command the command for the any terminal is x dash ter terminal dash emulator here in body linux they use this is all for the default one if you want to use a specific one or terminology which is the terminal I save it let me check here so now it's alt shift tab I will reconfigure and I press alt shift T it will open the terminology now if you notice all my uh, all my windows they don't have any x and any minus this is my my way of uh, forcing myself to use the control escape in order to close everything so if i want to play with this this window i press control one it will be like this if i press control two like this if i want to close it control escape it will close this is how you force yourself to use all of these uh, very simple tools and very and uh, improve your productivity if you don't like it you can change it from here in the end i put the class and there's no decor decor none and applications so what you can do if i remove this one file save i will reconfigure I press Alt Shift T and now I have the X button that you can close it. A final thing I want to show you my production machine where I, I'm using OpenBox to give you a feel. So this is my production machine. I'm using OpenBox with the W bar. It is a customized W bar. If I press Win Space, I will get most of my programs that I am using. And this is the menu that I am using. It is basically the same menu, but you put all the programs that you are using all the time. You put them up and you can customize bit based on your productivity and how you like it to be. I hope you find this one interesting and you remember when you distro hop directly to check everything and see what you learned from this distribution, what you can take from it and Use it for your own in order to improve your productivity and improve your workflow.